it's Miranda. I'm about to put an apron on because I'm going to cook some chicken cutlets. It is Kevin's birthday today and it's one of his favorite things. And the way I make it is super simple. So, by the way, don't mind Donovan stimming in the background. He's okay. If there's anyone out there who's used to making chicken cutlets a lot but just wants an easier way, this might be an easier way to you. This might be a harder way. I have no idea. I don't double dredge. That's the thing. I don't use flour. So, um, you're just going to need chicken eggs and these are preferable just because I'm just used to those. Um, I do use a little bit of salt and to fry them I just oil in a pot. I don't have a fryer or anything on. Today we're not using an air fryer. We're frying them. I'm gonna crack my eggs and put them into this big bowl because I'm going to put my chicken directly into the eggs. All of my chicken. eggs. Sometimes I add Parmesan cheese. Uh, sometimes I add some spices. Today I don't really want to do that. I'm just going to put a little bit of salt directly into my egg. So I'm not trying to make a fluffy scrambled egg. I'm just trying to season. I'm going to angle this a little bit. Stack my chicken. On that side it looks like I'm going to cut these. The way I cut these into quote unquote strips is I just diagonal. Roll them right into the egg. Just this. That. You don't want mommy to cut herself, so just be careful. You don't want to hurt yourself either, so it's a good thing you're keeping your fingers away. Down to the last piece. Now what I do. All my pieces with egg. You want to add another spice? You can. I'm keeping it simple because this has spices in it already. And um, my husband likes it fairly simple. You know, you can tell chicken has that super texture. Yeah, this chicken does. I guess it's a good thing we're making more into chicken cutlets. Alright, everything is completely covered. I'm going to pause and wash my hands because I've got a little tactic on how to handle the wet hand, dry hand thing too. Uh, if I'm lining something and it refuses to stay flat, I just remove it my hands. Just make sure you remember that you did that. What I do to avoid the wet hand, dry hand problems, I'm going to put the crumb into a bowl like this. I'm going to use, I'm going to have a spoon. This is the most annoying, the frying part's not that bad. Not that bad. Good. Hold on. Alright, let me just, let me clean this up. I have the chicken, I took off the magnets. I have my hot oil. And I have paper towel lined receptacle for all this. It's hot enough. Let's see. Nope, that's not hot enough. I was impatient. It happens. Okay, I apologize, but um, I didn't realize that this was going to be a sensory issue for Donovan. I'm trying to just get through it fast, okay? You're not going to really hear it, but...
just wanted to share it with anybody who wanted a different way to make chicken cutlets if you don't make them like this. Bye.